car bomb killed at least three people, injured dozens in the Turkish city of Diyar Bakur on Tuesday. Some local media are calling it a terrorist attack. CCTV's Natalie Carney has details from Istanbul. While the bomb attack was said to be targeting a police shuttle near Diyarbakir city center, the Diyarbakir governor's office did release a statement saying that the attack was staged while an armed police vehicle transporting seven members of the PKK, the Kurdistan Workers' Party, deemed a terrorist organization here. Uh, by. There has been no immediate claim of responsibility. However, these sorts of attacks are certainly not uncommon in Turkey. Unfortunately, uh, they are becoming more frequent. Uh, attacks against police and security personnel have surged in the last 10 months following a renewal of fighting between the Turkish state and the Kurdistan Workers Party, the PKK Kurdish separatists, uh, which was reignited last July. We have been seeing quite a few uh, explosions of this kind in in uh, Turkey's volatile southeast. The Turkish president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, says upwards of over 5,400 PKK militants have been, quote unquote, eliminated in the last 10 months, while five, 355 Turkish servicemen have been killed. Meanwhile, Turkey's border guards are being accused of beating and even shooting Syrian refugees as they escape the violence and cross into Turkey, it must be said illegally. Human Rights Watch, uh, the monitoring group, do claim to have video supporting this, saying that in the months of March and April, uh, five Syrian refugees have been killed by Turkish border guards and 14 more have been wounded. Ankara vehemently denies this, maintaining their position of having an open-door policy for Syrian refugees. Yet it must be noted that thousands remain stranded on Turkey's border in Syria following an upsurge in violence uh, in the province of Aleppo. This of course comes after a controversial deal was signed between Turkey and the EU to stem the flow of refugees from Turkey to the European Union. Natalie Carney for CCTV in Istanbul, Turkey.